Oh yeah, this this just broke, right? So this is a, this is a story that broke just now on social, which has definitely been odd to say the least. But something again that's maybe a symptom of our times, and maybe a further illustration as to how disconnected um, celebrities are from regular everyday life. Chrissy Teigen has been somebody that I've kind of been a little bit annoyed by in general on social, right? She's just just a bit of a nuisance like constantly tweeting constantly oversharing things that she's going through in her life and just generally being a bit too much of an open book um but i get it i think i mentioned it prior i think i understand when you're a celebrity or when you're somebody of some kind of notoriety as she was in her previous life being a model and then suddenly you become attached or associated with somebody that's a bigger celebrity than you are in john legend and your identity you kind of lose it in that transition and you then have to find a new one, right? Because you can't be a model anymore or you're not bothered to be a model or that kind of door kind of shuts for you because, you know, Hollywood and entertainment industry for some odd reason seems to discard women a lot more quickly than it does with men. Whatever happens, you have to shift and kind of find a new ID for yourself. And sometimes the only way to find that new ID is to maybe just get on social and just overshare, right? Just kind of make make everyone care about your life when they don't necessarily care. And that's necessarily, that's kind of a skill in some respects, which she's she done in some respects, right? Because you think to yourself, what other talent does she have as a part from being just a human? Nothing, right? Even the cooking thing, it's not really an ability. It's something that she's probably had to kind of learn um, to kind of love over the time because you've got nothing else better to do. And then she goes for a really serious issue, such as the one I've got here on the screen where it says the headline is Chrissy Teigen and John Legend lose their child after pre pregnancy complications. And you're like, rah, your heart goes out to the woman. But then you go through the post and you see what she's posted and you see the black and white image and you see the massive caption that's obviously been edited and written up in a certain way and you're like god almighty man you went through a, such a serious issue where you lost a child and you've, you're essentially doing a photo shoot in the hospital which obviously you could say is, is obviously to some sort of way of um, normalizing people losing child posting whatever right normalizing whatever issue women go through but i don't think this is normalizing anything i think women do go through these issues day to day who aren't in a privileged position to have some of the best health care the best health professionals looking after them they do it completely alone they do it sometimes without fanfare without attention and to somehow turn this into an event to promote yourself and an event to market yourself seems really gross now again now again now again now again now again i understand that sometimes grief is a weird thing right it makes you do crazy stuff people sometimes can go through some really gut-wrenching loss in the family and the only way that they know how to react or they know how to, how to respond is to sometimes overshare and sometimes do some things that don't necessarily make the best of sense right but i honestly think like sharing a picture such as this and another one i think of john hugging her in a bed and some shit it just seems odd if ever there was a time to be private and to kind of um uh to kind of you know deal with things behind closed doors without letting the world know this would be it this would be it having a picture of you crying and sobbing on the side of a bed whilst you've lost a child in such drastic circumstances especially when you think about all the fervor and all the kind of hullabaloo around her getting pregnant in the first place tracking the entire thing documenting every stage of it it just seems so bizarre but again it's just another representation of just how nutty celebrity culture has got especially during covid especially during the pandemic when legitimately they, they can't do their everyday thing right you can't do your daily thing that you do um because because the world is shut down so in order to kind of keep the eyes on you to keep people interested in what you do you're having to overshare parts of your life that should never be broadcast in this fashion whatsoever if tmz broke this story people would have been annoyed if tmz broke a story that chris tegan lost her baby tmz would be like oh my god what the fuck are they doing but instead she decides to tell her story first and we're meant to kind of somehow have sympathy for her and be really sad about it of course you can be sad about it if you're invested in her but you don't know the person right this kind of faux sort of um sympathy empathy that people lay out for people you don't know is really bizarre too because i'm sure there's people in your own life people within your own family that would much rather receive a call or receive a word of sympathy from you than some random stranger celebrity person that you're never going to meet that's never going to be friends with you and that you're most likely never going to emulate so again very bizarre very odd way to go about things but again i think it's a symptom of celebrity culture in general i guess i would say my heart goes out to them but again i don't know them and i don't necessarily care but i think it's definitely a cautionary tale as to you have to watch how much you share because if you keep sharing there is going to come a point in time where you won't know if you've crossed the line and to uh, truly think this is a time where she definitely crossed the line because again it's a big wake-up call i remember my wake-up call in this sort of things over sharing on social media because again we didn't grow up with social in a way that kids are growing up with it now but i remember once one of our close friends 
died in a very unfortunate circumstances right i think it was some sort of gang war line let's say it was a gang fight right um one of our close friends unfortunately ended up passing away the first friend in that group that ended up passing away in such extent and then of course because of the prevalence of gang violence within the neighborhood i live in um and knife crime it, we essentially became numb to it right there wasn't any much hullabaloo about people passing away which is a story in itself but i remember that person passing away and it was their funeral and we were all distraught about it trying to process our feelings and we went to the funeral and as they were putting the casket in uh, um, in the ground I took out my phone and I was going to video, video record it right and I was taking pictures this is a time when I was you know posting on social like I was treating Instagram like or whatever we were using at the time like mobile uploads right or like Facebook just uploading everything I was doing every waking moment I, I kind of woke up every, my every waking moment was documented online in some way shape or form that was kind of an exemption of social media for me and I remember one of my friends noticing I was taking a picture of the casket going into the ground where everyone's sobbing in tears and he nudged me he's like what are you doing and instantly in that moment, I realized, oh shit, right? I shouldn't be doing this. All it took was a nudge from somebody to say like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? Put your phone down, man. Like, have some decorum, have some respect. Do you know what I mean? Like, read the room. I was like, ah, shit, yeah, my bad. And since then, I've never in my life done such a thing ever again. But again, it takes one person to nudge you out of your reality. And the question is at the point, at this moment, is that do celebrities, do people like Chrissy Teigen, do, do these um, Jamila Jamils, um, these self-absorbed, narcissistic people like, I don't know, like Alyssa Milano, do they have those people in their life? Do they have people in their life who are just regular folk who can say, hey, you're bugging out, you're being psychotic, you're being crazy, what are you doing? Like, have some comments have some decency about you put your phone down let's have a drink whatever do they have those people in their life i don't think so everything everyone in their life sort of benefits from them for instance from agents to managers they all benefit from them oversharing if they're making a quote-unquote fool of themselves in public because inadvertently that's going to um add to their bottom line so they're never going to discourage them from being not being personable and not sharing their journey and all this nonsense they're gonna obviously encourage it in some way shape or form but this is really heartbreaking like why is this woman sharing this information with us like why do we know this like honestly why do we know this and why do we know this in such detail fair enough you have to kind of get the story out there yourself because you're a celebrity you might want to put out some word from from a pr for, sorry from an agency and just feed it to the you know to the platforms but why is she posting this herself and it's just it's odd it's flipping bizarre i really find it odd for the time you're going through this heartbreak for someone to again i'd be so i wouldn't even have the time opportunity to take a picture i don't know who took the picture was it a husband or somebody else who knows but regardless it's very odd very strange um and i guess it's a symptom of our times but hey that's why i'm so happy that i'm not a celebrity like you know fuck that man like imagine living a life where you feel like you have to share those kind of things anyway in the first place like nah 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 nah